I did this project for a friend at work and she gave me these uh, old draw sides. Basically, it's chipboard really. Well, it's conti board, but it's actually chipboard inside. So, started off, I just cut it down to the size I wanted on the table saw. this uh, wardrobe door which she gave me as well so I thought the handle there I thought make that a bit of a feature at the front so I'm just marking off the center uh, of one of the well of that it's actually the back piece that is just marking the center on both of them I'm just marking the sides there and that'll be the front and the back of it Just finishing the lines off. I'm just cutting that off now with a jigsaw. I noticed it was hollow inside, so I just cut some uh, some strips of wood. And just fit fit in the end there, just to make it a bit more sturdy. Just cutting four of them, two for each side. Putting some wood glue on. Spreading it all over and just place it now inside the end. Just making sure it's flush with the end and just nailing that down now with the nail gun. Did that all over, I'm just wiping the glue off. Right, what I'm doing there now, I'm just marking the front but I decided just make it a bit more smaller at the front so it's so it's a bit lower Same again as the side of these, I've just got to put a piece in the bottom just for security a bit more. Just making it flush. And just putting some nails in. I've got some more of the same wood here, I'm just cutting these down now into four strips. Just putting on some glue, spreading it about. Securing that with some nails. Same again, another one of them pieces of wood. Just mark it first and know where I put the glue.
need you to the side so now I'm just marking where the side piece is because the bottom section will be, will be a bit shorter because it's got to take into account that piece there so I'm just marking them off now just marking that there cutting out the mitre saw and just fitting that now in between my lines Done. Just starting assembling it now. I've got the back piece and the side. Just testing it there now, just putting some glue on. And just drilling it now, pre drilling it first. I did put a square inside, it was square. And just putting a screw in. Put that at the bottom and in the middle. Same again for the other side. Pre drilling and then seating the screw. Didn't quite grab it as much as the other side. The centre one did, but the, the top and bottom didn't. So I'm just putting some extra ones on the side there. Just don't want it coming apart. Doing the same now for the side section. Exactly the same pre drill. Doing the screw in. Got these pieces now, which I think there was some sort of slats I think off a bed. So I'm just putting them around the bottom, so the, I think the puppies can go under then. I'm just nailing them in. So you notice that the wood has got holes in, but it's just wanted a cheap thing really, so. Cutting that to the size there. And that's done. Just printed these uh, images off now of a paw and a bone. So I'm just cutting them out and just for makes a bit more pet looking on the side really. So I'm just cutting them out now with a sharp blade. Same again with the bone. I'm just spraying that now with some black spray. I just put some extra paper on there to stop it going everywhere. Just doing this a bit rough looking, it, you know, it doesn't got to be perfect. Done. Quite effective, really. But it was windy that day as well, it was blowing all over the place. Delay 
dry really but I was very impatient. Just decided to uh, just spray the edges, just give it a bit of a different feature. Like I say, it's only a, a rough, a rough thing using some old wood. I'm doing the same now, but some bones. That's pretty much it, really. Uh, just putting a dog's bed in there just for showing what it's like. Ty! Ty! You go in there, man. You go in there, good boy. Go inside there. Good boy. Go in. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. So you entire little treat there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, any questions, please ask. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.